The year is 2020, and as RLCS Season 10 gets underway, almost every pro player is still using the Octane. So why is it that this one specific car stands out as the clear favorite year after year? And why do I claim it's the best car in the game? To understand, we're going to need a little data, some psychology, and a whole lot of likes to balance out all the non-Octane mains disliking this video. But without any further ado, let's talk about why I think the Octane is the best car in Rocket League. Okay guys, to start we're going to have to look at the data we have on cars in Rocket League. If you didn't already know, on July 5th, 2017, Psyonix standardized Rocket League cars to minimize handling differences and create five set hitboxes called Octane, Dominus, Plank, Breakout, and Hybrid. What this means is that every car in Rocket League has one of these five hitboxes. So even though two cars may appear to be different, they can actually still have the same hitbox. This is why you may have heard people refer to the Fennec, which is rising in popularity, as just an Octane reskin, because in reality, they carry the same hitbox stats. And this is also why my teammate is a moron for only using the Octane in twos and the Fennec when we play threes, because the Fennec is his threes car. Huh. But I digress. The point is, even though there are 60 some cars in Rocket League, there are only actually 5 unique hitboxes. Now this isn't to say that there are only really 5 cars, because it does matter how the car model and the hitbox compare. To put things into perspective, I'm going to show you some graphics that I'll have linked in the description, but what I want you to notice is that car models and hitboxes don't always perfectly align. Even though the Octane is supposedly the best, it has a good amount of room where the hitbox and the car disagree. This is where we have to start to separate theory from practice. Everything else equal, in theory, the best car would be the one whose hitbox matched up perfectly with its model. In practice though, none of us can really see the super tiny pixels between the time that the ball first makes contact with the car and the time that it rebounds off. The reality is, we can only do our best to predict where the ball is going to go after it hits our car from our past experience. Now this is when psychology starts to get involved. And it's for this reason entirely that I believe the Octane is the best car. Going back to what I said earlier, our understanding of how the ball will bounce off our car in Rocket League comes down to primarily experience. As you play more and more, you learn how fast and in what direction the ball will rebound depending on how you hit it. And this isn't only limited to the time you play the game, it also includes the time you're watching Rocket League. So every time you watch your favorite streamer or Rocket League YouTuber play the game, you're subconsciously taking note of how each car plays in practice. With that in mind, I want you to go look at your most recent watched Rocket League YouTube video and check what car is being used, then comment it down below. Unless you just watched Pulse Fire Freestyle in the Jurassic Jeep, I'd bet money that your comment reads Octane. Now if you see where I'm going, if Octane is the most popular car, and everyone watches majority Octane gameplay, most players probably have a better understanding of the Octane than they do any other car. But I'm not saying that just because pros use it, it's the best. Hear me out. What else do we know about the Octane? Well, it's also the first car you get when you start playing Rocket League. This adds another reason why most players should have the most experience with the Octane. And if we want to add even more layers to this, we could start talking about how confidence affects your gameplay. If you see your favorite streamers hitting clips with the Octane more than any other car, you're going to be more likely to want to use the Octane than any other car as well. And when you do, just the fact that you feel better and have more confidence will generally make you play better as well. So after all this time, I guess I should clarify the title of this video. When I say the Octane is the best car, 
I mean it's the best car for most players. In reality, I think that if you spent enough time getting to know any car, you can play at your best with it. In fact, if the Hotshot was the default car in the game and every pro player used it, I'd be saying the Hotshot is the best car in Rocket League. But as it stands, I think the best car is the one you're most familiar with and most confident with. This isn't to say that if you switch to another car, everything you know about Rocket League will go out the window. All it means is that your best car is definitely not the Scarab. Huh. All jokes aside though guys, each car in Rocket League does have its own place. Sometimes changing cars is a mental adjustment that will make you play better. Most of the time though, I believe changing cars is going to mess with how you think your car is going to contact the ball. At the end of the day though, I totally get why some people like to use cars like the Batmobile or Dominus to perform certain mechanics. Because sometimes just changing the car model or hitbox slightly can help you better understand how to properly hit the ball. But generally speaking, consistency is what's going to matter most. And if you spend all your hours playing and watching Octane gameplay, I see no reason, at least right now, to switch things up. And when it comes down to it, that's why I think the Octane is the best car in Rocket League. Okay, that is going to wrap things up for this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is the part of the video where I talk about the monthly giveaway I do. So if you didn't know, at the end of every month, I pick a random commenter on my videos to win unlimited coaching sessions for me. What this means is that if your comment gets picked, I'll coach you until you hit grand champion rank in Rocket League. So if you want to enter for a chance to win, all you have to do is leave a comment below with your rank in Rocket League. Anyways though guys, if you did find this video interesting, all I ask is that you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. These videos take me so many hours to make, so if you could do those two things, I'd really appreciate it. That's all I've got though, so thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.